Welcome back to my channel. This video here is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do, but what I'm doing is I'm giving you a preview of my new camera. So I got into the market for a drone. I did that a little while ago. And it took a little bit more than what I thought when I got the drone, because I had to get my pilot certificate first for the RPAS through Transport Canada. And after I passed my test, I had to get the drone registered. Once I got all that done, it took a little bit to get used to this drone. I searched around for quite a long time about which drone do I want for doing these type of videos. And it took me a couple of months to land on the one that I wanted to get. Now, the one that I got is an autonomous drone. So it actually has obstacle avoidance on it. So when I'm riding, I don't actually have to operate it. It just follows me along to the parameters that I set by height and distance and direction. And then it does everything on its own. So once I got that, it, of course, it took me a little while to learn how to use it. So this ride is my very first road test where I did it while I was riding the bike. As you can see coming up here, there's power lines that cross the road and it actually avoided, it detected the power lines and it avoided it, it went below it and around it and then it caught right back up to me. So on this ride, I had it set behind me at the six o'clock position and I decided not to try the other positions yet. I wanted to make sure this one worked first. <laughs> So as you keep watching, there's about four different power lines that I crossed where the drone had to dodge the lines on its own. And when the road got a little bit windier with the trees reaching out, the drone would go around the corners and miss the trees all on its own. And that's the kind of drone I want where I don't have to try to operate it while I'm riding. <laughs> So for upcoming videos, you'll start to see this kind of shot more and more often, but it is going to take me a little while to keep on testing it and get used to it to the point where I trust it during the ride. And it'll only be on certain type of ride because its maximum speed for this drone is about 35 miles per hour. And you're not, you shouldn't really use it on a regular road anyhow. <laughs> Right now what I'm using is a beacon and I have the beacon in my cup holder right now because I'm still waiting for the mount for my handlebars. So you set everything up on the app on your phone and then once you set the parameters you just put the beacon on the bike and it follows the beacon wherever it goes. It uses GPS to do that. So this is the kind of content I thought would be interesting to add to my channel. So what I'm doing here is a little bit of an example of what I thought I would do on different type of videos and trips like this. So if you have any comments or thoughts, I'd be really interested to hear what you think. Here we are entering Scuzzy Creek. It's a forestry service road. So I don't know if I want to get mixed up with logging trucks today. So, so I'll find a place to turn around because what I want to actually find is that aerial car ferry. Well, over the balance of this year, we'll see how inventive I get with this.